Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy Harvest moon. In the last episode, we did quite a bit. The biggest thing being helping Tanya yesterday and also a bunch of grinding. But today, the goal was to actually get some bird feathers among a bunch of other things. So let's go do that. Oh, it's actually Harvest Day. That's a big egg. Yo yoink. And I don't have the milking machine, so I'll do that later. Kane, level 9 friendship and 247 HP. Not bad, not bad. Sonic Wind! Yeah, I know, of course, that wouldn't work. You fool! Dang it. Sure, I'll keep that. Yeah, where? Oh, there's the bird. You know the bird, 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 because the bird is the word. There we go, I had to sing the bird song to get it. That explains everything. And just making references is what makes these birds actually drop things. Wow, three in a row. Thanks. This is a nice gift, thanks. Okay. So, if we take the pendant, one of our bird wings, which I don't know which one's which, this might be the level 10, so we'll use this one. An aquamarine, which sadly I only have a level 1. A level 10 ruby, because, yeah, I have it, why not? And this level 1 amethyst, because sadly I don't have any better than that. We have a 100% chance to make the heart pendant. Now to upgrade said heart pendant, we need silver. We don't have any currently, but it's only 64% success rate currently, so this is better to upgrade than the actual regular pendant. We'll need another pendant for shipping later, but let's actually talk about this. It's probably a good thing I made that off screen. <laughs> a pendant shaped like a heart, very endearing. Level 5, defense 6, increases your intelligence and body. So, this gives 5 defense, strength, and body. This gives 6 defense, strength, and body. Okay, so yeah, it gives the same amount of body, it just increases the intelligence instead. And, you know, I think has one le no, the same de base defense. Good. So this is better for mages than the Hachimaki is. Good, good. Increases the magic defense by a good bit because that's how, you know, intelligence is how that's determined. This... I could up this five more times up to 11. This might be a good replacement for that. No, the magic defense drop wouldn't be great. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. The week's halfway over already. Oh, and Kami are the oldest in our class. Not that I ever really think about it. Keep quiet, I'm trying to focus on my studies here. Alright, so a lot of it's cooking, which would be good for tomorrow. Uh, let's go with fertilizers. Today I'll teach you to make fertilizers that you can use in your field. T first is formula A, start with a strong vine. Then add a root. Finally, mix in an earth crystal and you're finished. Next is formula B, first as before we'll use a strong vine. Next, add some fairy dust, this boosts its strength. Finally, mix in an earth crystal and it's done. So only one ingredient is different. And it's an item that I could get? Hmm, huh, interesting. Next is formula C. It boosts growing speed the best. Start with a strong vine. Next, add some devil blood. That's not something we can get. Finally, mix in an earth crystal and it's complete. 
Blast is a fertilizer that boosts overall quality. It's called Greenifier. Start with a strong vine. Then, add some fairy dust. Next, mix in a water crystal. Then, add a fish fossil. Finally, mix in an earth crystal to complete it. I'll be teaching you some harder recipes today. We'll start with a fancy hat. First, we'll need a hood. Well, we have one of those. Use a quality cloth next and sew it in the shape of a hat. Use some strong string to sew. Then, use a bird wing to strengthen the edges. Next, use another bird wing. Finally, use some fur to line the inside of the hat and you're finished. Next up is a charm. Start by using a cheap cloth. Then, use a quality cloth. Add another quality cloth to give it the charm more weight. Then, sew everything together with some strong string. N Next, add a glittering edge by using star sparkle string. Uh, speaking. Finally, use a woolly fur ball for the lining. Did you understand? Next is the leather belt. Start by tanning some speckled skin. While tanning it, make sure to wear thick giant's gloves for some reason. Next, use an insect skin to make the belt buckle. Use some strong string to sew everything together. Next, shape some iron to make the belt fastener. Finally, add a panther claw for some extra grip. Did you understand? Finally, let's make some brand glasses. Start with an insect jaw. Work it roughly in the shape of some glasses. Insect jaw. Next, add some bronze. Then add an arrowhead. Use a diamond as lenses. What? <laughs> Quality fur is perfect for the rims of the glasses. Finally, use a skull to blacken everything, and we're done. And we're done. We learned a bunch of new recipes. I'm not sure which one of those we'll actually get a good use out of, but let's check. Bird wing. A wing that is soft to the touch, but a little rough where it once joined the bird. Level 6. We got a level 6, a level 7, and a level 10. Hence why this heart pendant ended up level 5, because we used just as many level 10s as level 1s. Ship! Yeah, high work. Ah, uh, here for another trial. This time out, I want you to defeat some high orcs. Can you beat 10 of them? This guy isn't like the monsters you've faced so far. I reckon it'll be quite a challenge for you. Just do your best not to get hurt. You looking for a sword? No, I'm not. Emerald Ring. A ring with a brilliantly glimmering and em glittering emerald that will make your fingers sparkle. Raises your body. Aquamarine Brooch. A brooch set with an aquamarine, as boldly blue as the depths of the ocean. It has two base defense, and at level 7 has 9, and increases your body. We'll be shipping both of these. Okay, they did both ship. The second one didn't make the noise. I was very concerned. Eh. I'm running around at the speed of sound. Got no place to go, got to follow my rainbow. Here we go. Defeated the target monster. And while I'm at it, mining time. Defeated five. Also, if anything, this is actually the fastest place to do it. This is one of the faster quests. <laughs> and we're done. You did it? Well done. This is proof that you're making progress. Here's your reward. 
1500 G. Just keep holding your skills. All right. Orc Hunter. Let's do it. Here we go, trial, trial, trial. Get out there and prove yourself. I just want you to defeat 10 Orc Hunters for me, okay? Orc Hunters wear blue and carry a bow. Make sure you go for the right one. Run for it if things get too dangerous, okay? Keep your wits about you and get to it. So as you might have guessed, they're the archer orc that was fighting alongside the high orcs. Defeated the target monster. Defeated five. There we go. We're done. Well done. You did it. Here's your reward. You've earned it. 1500 G. The monsters in Trias Forest aren't much of a challenge for you anymore, are they? It's about time you headed over Blessy Island, then. Well, hope to see you come in for another trial soon. Yeah. We're done with Trieste Forest. Mostly. We'll get back to that later. High Orc 2. Ah, I didn't realize there was a second High Orc quest. I thought it... So I guess we're not done. I Let's do this one. Sure. <laughs> Are you here for a trial? Well, then, you need to defeat 20 High Orcs. This is the final trial in Trieste Forest. Don't let your god down. Didn't think we'd be reaching this, but here we are already. Weird. I thought there was a thing. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> I've brought you lunch. Yay, what do we get today? Today you're having a sandwich. Yes. Get the sandwich. See you tomorrow. I got a sandwich. Nice. I think that might be somebody's liked gift. I'll check that later. That means I need to level up five more times until I have even a chance of this. Because 1%'s not enough. That's rough, buddy. So we're gonna need a lot of iron and a lot of silver. We have plenty of iron currently, so we need a lot of silver. And we also need a bunch of bronze for upgrading that, so our poor inventory. You're killing me, Smalls. One out of three in my butt. There we go, that makes up for it. That puts us at accessory level 31. If we get a bunch of gold, then I could use amethyst and gold on an amethyst brooch. And that would be a really good item to grind with. It's just expensive to make. So for now, the Hachimakis are a good way to go. It's really cheap. There wasn't a school here at all until that not that long ago. If only they had waited until I was a little older before they went and built it. I'm always excited to see everyone at school. Didn't your father make the school area? That's incredible! Alright, uh... Okay, time to get serious about accessories. The power gloves are first up. Start forming the general shape of the quality cloth. For the fingertips, use a panther claw. To give the gloves a better grip, use strong vine. You also need an insect skin. Use the cloth from a giant's gloves to fortify the gloves. Finally, sew the gloves with strong string. The evil charm will boost your magic power. First, you need to prepare a charm. Next, construct a charm out of a cheap bandage. You also need a quality cloth. The magic powder comes next. Further strengthen the magic power with the magic crystal. Finally, wrap it with a sparkle string. A 
ring shield can protect your body with its magic. Start with the ring itself. You'll need iron. Mix the little crystal. The center of the adornment use a magic crystal. You will place it onto the ring using a bowl horn. You also need fairy dust. Top it off with magic powder. Use the powers of a courage badge to protect the weak. To make it, you will need a pin. You also need to have proof of warrior. Make the fastener out of silver. Next, coat the front surface with glue. Decorate it with a wolf fang. Finish it off with a fairy dust. Alright. Let's go into the cursed ring. The cursed ring. We just have one ring today. The cursed ring. Instead of metal, the ring is made from plant stem. That seems weird. Next, you'll need a root. You'll want to have poison powder ready to use. Remember the poison effects from Spore. For the decorations, you'll use black grass. Finally, affix a sparkle string. No skulls? N none of the force? Okay. Okay. Back into Trieste for the final quest. Defeat the target monster. Keep defeating them until you reach your quota. Nice, silver. And bronze. Stop. Stop. And it's gone already. Defeated five. Defeated fifteen. Seventeen. And that's nineteen. Oh, twenty. What? W was it counting... Was it counting the hunters? What? I don't know, man. Defeated a quarter of the target monster. Whatever. I'll accept it. Well done. Good job. Congratulations, you've cleared all the trials in Trieste Forest. Here's your reward. Well done, Arya. 3,000 G. No matter how many monsters you take out in the forest, the numbers just don't change, do they? I wonder if there's anything we can do about that? At any rate, it looks like Trieste Forest no longer offers a challenge for you. You've made real progress, Arya. Alright, Goblin Pirate. Here for a trial, are ya? Starting today, I'll be sending you on trials to Blessy Island. Blessy Island is the uninhabited island to the southeast of town, well, uninhabited by humans. There are plenty of monsters there. The weather is summery throughout the year, so it's a perfect place for um, some swimming. And an agua sword would go perfect with a swimsuit. Anyway, it's trial time. Can you defeat ten goblin pirates for me? You can't underestimate the speed of these guys. Do your best, and don't drop your guard. Alright, let's go do that. Defeat of the target monster. Keep defeating them until you reach your quota. Nice. That's five. Skill up. Nice. Here we go. And I'm done. Looking back, it looks like you managed to do it. Did the monsters on Blessy Island give you much trouble? They're a tough bunch over there. They tend to be weak against magic, though. Remember that. Here's your reward. You've got 2,000 G. I've got plenty more trials to put you through yet. Not today, though. We're actually probably going to call it 
I'll check. Just to be sure that's not a night monster. Goblin Gangster. So, no. We'll do this tomorrow. Hopefully there are night monsters at a time that would be convenient for that. But, for now... Crafting time. Okay, over here at the crafting table. At the chemistry table, rather. We're actually going to be using a bunch of these. The odds aren't in our favor, but... Heavy Spice, success. Skill increased. So that puts us at level 6 Pharmacy. Yeah, so we have a 64% chance right now. And our inventory is full. Skill increased again. I'm a lot closer now. Now, if I wanted to make a healing potion, my odds are about 20% currently. Not good enough, but not bad. Once I'm up a little bit higher, I can abuse this. They're all purchasable super easily. Only a 10% chance, but let's do it. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Skill level increased, awesome. We love to see it, first try. First try every time. Nice. The issue is that the next thing I wanna make is Durandal, which we need to be minimum level 26 for. We're only 22 currently. So we need to figure this out. What's a good grinding item? But upgrading the flame saber is a good grinding item. It uses iron. That's it. Can I buy a flame saber? That's the question. Or any other item. I, I guess I don't. I'm not, you know, married to the idea of the flame saber. Just anything similar. Nah. Nothing's quite as easy as that. So let's go check that out. Need to grab energy anyway. Also, 420 blaze! Nah, sure enough, that would be summer. I'm not willing to wait until summer. We're actually gonna buy a steel sword real quick. Give a gift. Do I have the recipe for this so I can show it? No. It does not look like I do. Well, I don't have the recipe, but if you take an arrowhead, a giant's fingernail, the steel sword, one fire crystal, one iron, and one spore. And you mix them all together with no guarantee this will work. I get the burning blade. Alright. The burning blade. A sword that burns along its entire blade. The blade whispers, touch me and I'll burn ya. Attack bar 28, fire... Charge level 1. It's level 4 currently. But that's not the important thing. The important thing, if we go down to the Burning Blade upgrade, is level 30 and it only requires 1 iron. Yeah, 28% chance. Let's do it. The suck rate is, you know, better than most. There we go. Skill level increased. That puts us up to fortune level 23. And also means it's a 37% chance now. There we go. Just gotta keep it up. My luck is failing me, and it's not kind. Please, can you prove me wrong? Thank you. The Burnham Blade at 420. A. There we go. Now we're at 46% chance. There we go. My goal is to get up to like 28 or so, and I believe I'm 27 now. Yep, forging... Oh no, we're at forging over 26. I thought we were at 27 already. Weird. I must be seeing things. 
Yep, 64%. There we go. Okay, the rate of success now. To make Durandal, we have a 19% chance. That's good enough for me. I don't think I have Rage Fang. I'll check. I hate it here. I hate it here. You know, something very unfortunate. This game decided to do something that's just bad. It's just bad. <laughs> what are the items? The item I need for Durandal, the, we the weapon I want to make weapon I've been working towards this entire time you know this nice little thing right here the rage fang is not obtainable until near the end of the game that's unfortunate how about everything else like could I make this if I were to grind up far enough yeah I could make this I don't know about the smash sword let's see the smash sword uh oh I don't actually have the recipe for it I could probably make the Gravios, but nah, Durandal, who who needs it? You just need a Rage Fang, which is not obtainable from the Gold Wolf like it is in the other games. It's obtainable from an enemy at the end of the game. I'm upset. <laughs> I've been working towards this. I really wanted this. I love Durandal. Well, unfortunate. Like, I'm not even sure, but like, I could probably do the Dancing Dice or even. I'm not sure about the Hard Horn. I'd have to look that up. Like, Balmung having a Rage Fang makes sense. It's a level 80 recipe. Having a mid-tier sword require get items from the end of the game does not make sense. It means you'll never use that sword. Well, never mind then. Unfortunate. Sea breeze feels good, but if you don't care if you take care of your hair, you will regret it later. Wow, giant's gloves, nice. I mean, we are more than buff enough for this area of the game. It's just unfortunate for me. Like, these guys should drop Rage Fangs or something. What do these guys drop? What do they drop? I need to know. I need to be sure it's not a Rage Fang, that the internet isn't lying to me. Because it's done that. It's done that many times. Panther Claw, right? Panther Claw. Goodbye. I acknowledge your strength, Arya, and award you with this. Just a little will make you more powerful. Recipe for protein boost, mental supplement, and vital gummy. Great, I learned some new recipes. Obtain the Blue Stone Tablet Fragment. Right, time to, ca time to carry on. And like before, if you come in here, I examined it, but nothing happened. Interesting. Well, we're done here. The only statue left is this one right here. Level up. Giant's gloves. Huge gloves worn by a giant. Made of tough, hard-to-tear leather. Or cloth, rather. I'm going to be 100% positive I don't have one of these by checking my list. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Nope, I do not have the gloves. So, goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Hachimaki. I don't have any great recipes, to be honest. Skill level increased. 
So we're now at forging level 28. Our round shield is level 10, giving us 16 defense. Our cutlass, which is the best we're going to get for a while, is level 10 and giving us 52 attack, which is nothing to, you know, scoff at. I just wish. <laughs> Durando, my sweet. Skill of increased for accessories. We're at a 55% odd now. Oh, I have my next thing I'm going after. So I have our goal now for the rest of the day. Okay. Come on. There we go. So what we want to do is we want that to die. A lot. Or not very much at all because I got my magic crystal. Nice. Bye. <laughs> so the Hachimaki gives us 4 attack, 13 defense. Not bad, not bad. Now if we take our charm that we got from Dorothy. I think that was from Dorothy at least. We take this magic crystal we just got, the cheap bandage, sparkle string, magic powder, and a quality cloth. We get... The evil charm. Kind of messed up that we turned her charm into an evil charm, but... You know. Evil charm, a foreign charm filled with evil power. Various curses can be cast or transmitted through this charm. And now, the Evil Charm Upgrade. You just need cheap bandages, and you have a 46% chance at my level. There we go. Skill increased. So that means we're at 55 now. There we go. Using up all my bandages, I'm almost level 35 in accessories. I'm at level 9 for the charm, getting 8 defense out of it. So online, people are saying that the evil charm actually gives you a magic attack boost. I'm not sure about that. I would have to test it. I guess one thing I should test. Yeah, that stays the same. But I also figured that. And I got a little crystal, which is always nice. My inventory is full once again, so back to grinding. I have a goal, or rather two goals. Hopefully, maybe, if I can do it within time. Now over here at Blessia, if we head over to the area over here, down here. The southwest Beach. That's not the enemy I wanted, but I'll take its drop. Magic Crystal obtained. <laughs> Wild. This one's the next one. And we got its drop. And now... Oh, crap. Uh, retreat. Now, from the beach, if we head all the way down this path... Or up the other path if you have moon drops and weren't dumb like I am. They're not here because it's nighttime. You know what's really funny? If I hadn't sold that, if I just hadn't sold it, we'd be good. We'd be Gucci. We'd be set. I'd be able to make the thing I wanted to make. We have a goal for tomorrow then. There is some platinum. And some gold. And some silver. And some more gold. Rad, we love to see it. Okay, silver takes precedence over iron. Bronze is fine to go for now. Dang it, failure. Always come back to bite you, right?
All right. So that is all I have in me for now. <laughs> Both, like, just ability to do things in here right now without, you know, a lot of time abuse and just my ability tonight. I am just wiped. <laughs> Guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Tomorrow, I guess two days from now, maybe three, depending on what day this uh, video lies, probably two days from now, because I think this will be on a Friday if I keep up my schedule, cross my fingers. Um, assuming everything keeps going, I'll have the next one out two days from now. Uh, it will probably include a lot of Blessia Island trips via the, uh, just grabbing the, you know, Giant's Gauntlets, fighting a bunch of enemies for items, and doing all the, uh, Tanya requests and everything. We're, we're getting there. Um, I'm, t actually, tomorrow's Friday, which means also cooking. Cooking is available to us tomorrow. The full deal, no waiting, no, like, ifs, ends, or buts, we'll buy all the cooking stuff. I'm not sure which meals we're going to be doing. I, I have a good idea what meals we're going to be doing. But, like, we're definitely not getting to all of them. <laughs> I will show the best ways that I know to power level. And eventually I'll go through and actually try to do every single one with my full checklist. I just misprinted some of my papers, so I have to go out and do it again. But, it, it you know, I like my checklists. They're fun. I'll see you all next time. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye. I'm going to go take a nap at sleep. It's it's 10 p.m. I don't need a nap. <laughs>